Apostle Deanna Dixon. I told you guys I will be back. All right, I'm going to wait for you guys to come on. Whew, praise God, praise God. God is good. Hallelujah. All right, so come on back up in here. I have something I want to talk to you guys about that God has put on my heart. And this, you know what, this have been for so long. And the crazy part, it, it, it's causing a whole lot of riffraff in the body of Christ and out. Yeah, the people that are not even saved. So, if you don't know my title, my title is this, and it affects everybody. Good evening, Tanny. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. God bless you. Come on in here. I'm trying to wait till people get up in here before I go off, because I'm going off. Well, I'm going off this evening. Oh, y'all know it. Let me tell y'all something. God is so good. And the closer I've been getting to God, the closer we all get to God, God will reveal everything to you. Oh, come on, somebody. God will wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning and tell you, hey, you got to handle this, 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 that. So before I begin this subject, it is so important to have wisdom and discernment. Come on, somebody. Anointing is good. But if you don't know the voice of God, oh, come on, somebody. If you don't know the voice of God, you end up hurting people. And that's what I want to talk about tonight. I, okay, the title is Stop Saying God Said If You Don't Know For Sure. I'm going to say that again. God told me to do this. So I'm doing this. I heard God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And then what happens is that after you do the act, or oh, forget this. Let me just go straight to it. Let's say God tell you to sow some money. But now you don't know God told you to sow that for real. And it's big money. You know, we're talking about thousands, right? Maybe a thousand, maybe two, maybe three, or maybe 500, or maybe 400. I don't know, okay? Whatever God tells you because, you know, money is money, right? Okay, so here's where it's coming up to be a problem. If God did not tell you to sow that money, you're going to have offense and resentment in your heart. And this is how you know. Because it could be years later. And if somebody gets some money or something, that person, okay, I'm going to give you the whole example because I got to break this thing down. Let's say the person you sold into, they come into some money and they don't give you none. Come on, somebody walk with me up in here. You low key resentment, but you ain't saying nothing, but you can tell with the way you act, the way you talk. Come on, somebody up in here. Somebody feeling me for real. Somebody don't somebody understand what I'm saying? Have you ever had it happen to you to where somebody gave you something? Let's say not even so, but somebody gave you something or loaned you something. What am I saying? Body of Christ, stop getting offended. If you say that God told you to do something, this is how you know that is God. You're not going to get offended. You're not going to have resentment. And you will have peace in your spirit. Stop saying that God said this and said that if you don't know for sure. Just stop. It's causing problems in the body of Christ. It's causing problems in families and with friends. That's why some people have become enemies. Oh, let me let me walk this thing out. Ever since this COVID, even before COVID, everybody topsy turvy. I know this was happening, and don't act like y'all don't understand what I'm saying because I'm gonna walk this thing out. Man, people are getting more selfish and uh, is it hoarding. I mean, we saw the videos. Because you know something else is coming. You're not crazy. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk this thing out tonight. You know something else coming. You could play crazy, but you know something else coming. <laughs> so everybody's like, I got to get me. I got to get me. You're, you're losing your character. You're losing your anointing. You're getting in selfishness. Talking to people crazy. I'm going to give you an example. And I have to give you an example. If you're going through something, thank you, Lord, I hear you. If you're going through something, don't take it out on your friends. Don't take it out on your family. Don't holler at nobody. Nobody's your child. Y'all got to know how to respect each other in this last hour. The enemy is playing us against each other. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to rename this video. Because now I'm about to move. I feel God pulling me in the other um, direction. We are being conditioned. Don't think I was a game. We're being conditioned. We're wearing masks. Y'all know how hot it is under those masks? We're being conditioned just like Pharaoh wants us to. Because whether you like it or not, it is a new world order coming. And I don't care what y'all say. And some of y'all know, but you're scared. 
We have been conditioning our whole lives. And I don't care what y'all say. That COVID-19, that's a lie from the enemy. I'm not saying people not dying. I wonder what they dying from. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. I know what I'm talking about. I ain't never lied saying, thus said the Lord. I, and God ain't never lied to me. And I'm 52. And he ain't never going to lie. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So when he say it, I don't care what nobody else say. Now, how they dying? <laughs> Who knows? Nobody playing. We're being conditioned. Conditioning to go against each other. Conditioning to fight each other. Conditioning. Y'all don't see why everybody acting crazy? 20 years ago, the politicians used to never help fight like they used to fight. 20 years ago, you couldn't curse on TV. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. We're being conditioned. What are we being conditioned for? It's almost like we're being conditioned from Sodom and Gomorrah. They don't want just a civil war. They want war. Not just war between races. Y'all not understanding what is getting promoted these days? Oh, let me stop cussing and fussing on here. Oh, better yet, I'm about to go here. Let me be a fake prophet. I have thousands on this life. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. They don't like the real ones really getting out there because it's going to snatch y'all. The anointing going to snatch you. You can't stop the anointing. I don't care how bad you think you are. You can't stop God. Not the real thing of God. Come on. This fake stuff, you can, you, you can, you can perpetrate that. But the real anointing? It'll hit you right where you sat in that. I don't care. It'll come through the airwaves. It'll come at 3 o'clock in the morning. Come on, somebody. The power of God. I know it's real. You can't tell me nothing. They don't want that real stuff on the air. Not for real, for real. Because too many people will get free. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what God is telling me these days, stop saying it's God if it ain't God. That's why, as a prophet, I always get second confirmation. That's why when I come to y'all, y'all can't tell me nothing. I don't care about nobody in the comments or what people say on YouTube or whatever. I don't really care. Once God give me that, and hold on, I do get double confirmation for those that don't know. I don't just come up on here. I don't just say, thus said the Lord. I always confirm his word twice because the enemy will fool you. The enemy will fool you. And I'm seeing a lot of stuff happening this last hour. People are really unhappy. People are really snapping. I'm going to tell you right now. If you are a friend of mine, don't holler at me. I am not your child. Don't holler at me. We are not going to be friends long. So I don't know what you're going through, but don't be taking it out on me. And I don't I don't, I don't listen to other people. I, I, I don't care if it's family members or whatever. I don't do that stuff. Let me. And I'm talking to y'all like this for a reason. This is how you're supposed to roll. Whatever I hear God say, that's what I'm doing. Whatever I hear God say, that's what I'm doing. Not what you say, not what that one say, not what my family say, not what. You got to get close to God in this hour. And it got to be what he say. It can't be what your best friend say. It can't be what your daughter say. It can't be what your husband say. It can't be what your lover say. Oh, come on, somebody. I love you. Don't get it twisted. I thank you for your advice. But I got to go to God first. And if it don't line up with what God say, I'm not taking your advice. I just say something. I just say something. Too many people are missing it in this hour. I'm going to tell you right now. And this is real what I'm getting ready to say. I love God. Whatever God tells me to do, I will do it. If he said, Deanna, shut it down. You guys, I will close that place so quick and make y'all head spin. Y'all think I'm playing? I ain't never been about money like that. When I came to God, it's all about God. I don't care what nobody say. Because all, all these little secret games people be playing. I'm looking at everybody tripping. The he say, the she say, all this stuff in the body of Christ and out the body of Christ. Y'all better stop that foolishness. These people are coming. They ain't coming, they're here. Y'all sitting up there playing all these games, mind games, uh, uh, chit chatter, chatter, chit. I, that's why I don't have too many friends. Because I don't play all that. I be done told you about yourself. I knew you'd be mad for real. What am I saying? It is time to get real with not just God, but with yourself and others. And y'all stop being ugly to each other. If you don't fool nobody, don't fool with them. Quit gossiping about people. Quit lying on people. Y'all better come together. That's what I'm really saying. I said all that to say. God said he's coming back for a blameless and spotless people. He said the scarcely should be, the, the saved, should, the Christians, we should be scarcely saved. How much more the sinner? How much less the sinner? You got to work on your salvation in this hour. Stop being ugly. If you're wrong, be man and woman enough to say I was wrong. I didn't I didn't mean to do that, say that, or whatever the case may be. 
Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because I'm telling you, we're being mental conditioning. And the reason why I say that is a spirit. I get on lives, right? And I, I'm on my live. Just, you know what comes up? All this reality stuff about Gucci men, Keish. I don't want to know about them people. But you'd be surprised how many Christians are, ooh, what's going on? Hold on. The hottest subject, Latoya Luckett. The, I can't help it. It's all in my timeline. Hold on, hold on. That's gossip, y'all. That's not of God. If anything, pray for people. But, 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 but y'all y'all missing it. They're doing it on purpose. Ooh, thank you, Lord. You know what God was telling me today? I was cleaning up my building today. And let me tell you what God was telling me. Because I had the Christian music going. I was just, oh, that place so anointed. When you come in there, you're going to catch it. Trust me. Anywho, I was up in there and God said, Deanna, always gird your eyes. He said, notice. He said, the ears are powerful. Audio is powerful, right? Music is powerful because that's what's making these kids go crazy, right? He said, but you know what's more powerful? He said, the eyes. He said, because what you see, it literally grabs your attention. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Why you think it's so powerful visual? You see, it, it, hearing is good too. But it's something about your eye gate. Come on, somebody. Catch this. Catch this. I'm not just rambling here. Catch it what I'm saying. I know I'm moving different subjects because guess what? When I hear the Holy Spirit flow, I'm trying to, I'm trying to catch up with him. Guard your eye gates. I watch what I look at. I watch what I hear. I turn it off in a heartbeat. Even if, when I'm scrambling through the television, if they have somebody, and I'm going to be very transparent, if they have somebody naked or having sex, I'm, I, I, I don't want to look at that. I don't want that in my spirit. There it goes right there. Guard your spirit, said the Lord. You're not guarding your spirit. I don't like being around ugly people. I don't like being around messy people. I don't like being around stuff like that. Because guess what? I don't want that in my spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Church folks, what's up? You're supposed to be holy and anointing. You can't lay hands and you can't be a vessel for God if you are entertaining all that mess. It is time for you to cut it. Cut the world off. Cut it. How you do that, apostle? You know how. Get closer to God and leave that foolishness behind, said the Lord. That's why people have so much envy and jealousy. I told y'all on, on a live, I think I did the audio about the hawks and everything. And then I, I did the same thing. I started off with one title and I ended up talking about all kinds of stuff. Because when the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit been on me for like a couple of days. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Count the cost, said the Lord. Count the cost. Because I'm going to tell y'all where I'm at right now. It ain't about no business and all that. My, my, my walk is getting more mature. And I noticed something. I'm less tolerable. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not playing with nobody. Don't come. Don't try to come in my inner circle with that foolishness. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. What people don't know about me is. While you're sitting up there lying to my face. Yeah, I said it like I said it. I'm already peeping your spirit. But God said don't say nothing. So I ain't going to say nothing. But I'm going to let you think that I'm crazy. Or I just don't know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. I always carry the Holy Ghost with me. Because I can't do nothing without him. Hallelujah. We in some we in the end days. And I'm telling y'all right now, y'all better stop playing. Please stop playing. Get close to God. Ask God for wisdom and discernment. I always I'm always anointing myself. I don't care what nobody said. I anoint myself. Have my prayer shot on. Praying, praying, and praying. God keep me. God don't let me fall. I pray, look like I pray 24-7 because when I'm not talking, I, I, even when I'm with people, I'm praying. I'm praying in my prayer language, in, in the inner being. Come on, somebody. The enemy is out to get you. The enemy is out to taint you. God says, remember. Remember him. See, let me tell y'all something. It's okay to have dreams. It's okay to have goals. But don't get so sidetracked. I'm watching what I say on purpose. They got some people I know right now. When you ask them a question, they're all about money. Y'all don't get so caught up with money. I'm telling y'all what God say. I know we need it, right? But I promise you, if you be obedient. Hallelujah. 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 Handle the good that they send us.
Meshinde kila de kila da kato to sundo to kolo de 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 senda. Y'all, they cut me off. I don't know. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Somebody say I can hear you, Apostle. I can't even see nothing. Hallelujah. Can y'all hear me? I need somebody to say I hear you, Apostle, because they didn't cut me off, y'all. Can y'all hear me? My God. Mission the killer, the killer, the goddess, and the killer, 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 the killer